time when you decide the restaurant business is going to be in your past in the butcher shop, you're going to open a butcher shop. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about that process and that decision making and what, what, what got you interested besides, it sounds like you've worked with the whole animal already, but you know, what was, how was that process and, and, and what were some of the other influences in making that decision? So, you know, we, we had committed to the, you know, this whole animal program at the restaurant. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, you know that was it was a challenge, um, and we were getting a, a lot of really positive press for it. And we were doing butchering demonstrations on the weekends, and that was doing well enough so that we didn't have to do Sunday brunch anymore. Um, and we were we were just getting a lot of attention for it, um, and that uh, came in the form of uh, I was a woman in California who was writing a book called Primal Cuts, and it was all about chefs and butchers all over the country that were kind of going back to the way things used to be and, you know, making, butchering whole animals and making their own sausages and their own cured meats and that whole, this sort of butcher renaissance. Um, and she asked if we wanted to be included in this book. So um, we were kind of having a hard time with the restaurant. We had gotten all this good press and we were in this book and we were, uh, we were flipping through a, like a teaser promotional thing that she had for the book. And there was a, a little butcher shop in LA that was just about to open. And there was some guys in Brooklyn that were opening this cool little whole animal shop and, you know, in Seattle and these little places all over. And one of my cooks turned to me and said, why don't you do that here? And <laughs> I just kind of shrugged it off. And then, you know, I, I don't know if it was later that night or if it was a couple days later, but I was talking to my wife and she said, why don't we do that here? I said, well, I don't know. Why not? So we, uh, you know, we talked to some people and we got rounded up a, a very comically small amount of capital and we found a space that we really liked where, the, you know, the, the landlord was super into food and thought what we were doing was cool and he gave us the space for a song. And, uh, you know, we got some great deals on some used equipment that uh, just kind of fell in place. And we opened up a little butcher shop. You know, the funny thing is, I, and I say this often, but I never really got into, I never opened that store because I wanted to be a butcher. I never thought this is what I want to do ultimately with my career is be a butcher. But the thing that was important to me were these relationships with these farmers. You know, we'd gotten to know a lot of these people over the course of the years that we were at the restaurant and some even before that from other jobs we'd had. And, you know, it was, it was really great that at that time, 2008, 9, 10, um, restaurants of all calibers but particularly higher end restaurants were really focusing again on on what you know on where their ingredients were coming from and we were seeing small family farms start to take a very prominent place on the menus of you know really respected high end restaurants and people were seeking those restaurants out you know people who were interested in food were going to these places because they knew they were getting better products uh, you know coupled with the fact that there was great wine and great cooking and these dishes were wonderful they the, they were very conscious of where the food was coming from. And we saw that at our restaurant. That's why people really liked to eat with us because they came in there knowing not only would food be good, but they felt good about what they were eating. And we thought if there's enough people who want to go out to dinner for that, then we felt like there were enough people in the city who would want to shop and have that same quality product at home to cook for their families. And that's really was, was the big push towards opening the store.